Hello, this is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? Yes, ahoy, matey. Love. Do, 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 do. Exciting and new. <laughs> Go online. Hmm. They're catfishing you. Shocker. Beyonce. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 Day Beyonce. Marrying someone you only met on your phone. Be they French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. It's reality, yay. Let's love. You said bam through it, and now I want to have sex again. <laughs> Y'all, it's the 4th of July, and there better be some fireworks tonight for Poodle, <laughs> because I, I'm not coming back I just tomorrow. Wanna, I just kind of want a restful night. I'm not coming back tomorrow if you don't get fucked, <laughs> and we have a lot to how do. Are, how are y'all, how is everyone spending their 4th? I hope everyone is having a joyous and safe 4th of July. Yeah, some fried chicken, some baked beans. What or, does your family eat on 4th of July? You know, we... Um, Y'all, welcome to Reality Gaze. Welcome to Reality Gaze. This is Ma- 90 I'm Day Maddie Diaries. And this is Poodle. This is 90 Hello. Day Diaries, y'all. We surprised you. Or as Rodney said, surprised. Hey, surprised. Hey, surprised. Um, we... We're recording this on the 4th of July. You're listening on the 5th. We normally... Um, that's how dedicated we are. We are, we took we're taking up our holiday, America's birthday, and then after this, we're starting. We're watch, doing some of our watch alongs since we're together. What are we starting on the Patreon? This is inside the, baseball, but no, that's we're fine. doing no. We're letting them know what are we starting for the. Um, oh, we're starting season four, and we're dropping that first. That's of, what we're on the on our Patreon of ninety of, day of, fiance of classless of classless. But what we've started the tradition. We're so excited. We're starting season four. We're season four, and we're dropping the first episode on the free feed. It'll drop next. You're gonna get uh, it in like what two weeks from now. Everybody's gonna get it. Everybody's gonna get it. Um, to answer your question, after you yelled something and shattered at me, and something. Tifa's in that season. This season. Who's in the seat? <laughs> Pedro's in the season. And Fisa. No, not Antifa. Not Antifa. Not Antifa and Fisa. What did I? T- <laughs> I thought I said hip pizza. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. I think y'all. I, I I just said earlier. You know, when I first met you, I thought you were dumb because <laughs> you kind of look dumb. Because y'all, we did. I did art, and I put Poodle's face on May Lisa. And you're not dumb. And I put my face on cheese stick, I, and I, I said might, we kind of look alike. I might because you both have that kind of like Gomer look. I know that. that when I look at they you, call me and Gomer and call. I would say, "Is this person an idiot?" No, I'm fine. But to turn out, I might call you an idiot because you'll say something ridiculous. You're not. You're a very smart person. Most of the time, I, I have my moments. You know, and you just confuse things. I do. Um, I do confuse and it things. Enrages me. Sometimes. I really did the best from somebody taught by a pig in Oklahoma. <laughs> no, the pig was the valedictorian. Well, I know, but <laughs> um, but uh, anyway. <laughs> You asked <laughs> what my family then we eats on Fourth of July. <laughs> Who gives a shit now? Well, now they. I asked what they were doing tomorrow, and my mother's like, "Well, I'm making some. I'm just doing some black bean burgers on the grill. Not um, even meat. and some fish, grilled fish. Oh yeah, yeah. They're but grown they're, up. Y'all have burgers. We had burgers, grilled chicken. Um, we did. We Fourth of July was not a family. We we would go to some picnics. You know, I think uh, with family, but you know what? That's not true. We would go over to my cousin's house um, and then, but it was all kind of like catch as catch can. People brought things. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, it was always, it's all these like Southern food, barbecue sides, Mm. you know, it was a little less, a little less organized than other holidays. You just kind of, people brought potato chips or it, it was kind of the trash food holiday. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then we just sh- because you can as you can do in South Carolina, we just shot off fireworks in the front yard. 
Yeah, we did that at my not grandpa's. A, not a problem. Yeah. Um, and I remember having to pick corn because it's a very common in South Carolina corn harvest season was around there. Yeah. So Fourth of July always had lots of corn. We had lots we had, of corn. We had to shuck corn. From my grandpa's farm. We had corn, tomatoes, yep. okra. Yep. It was I all bet. from the garden. They had okra in uh, in Oklahoma? Oh, yeah. Huh. A big okra state. I just feel like that was that's very a South thing. I didn't think about that. Lots of okra where I'm from. Huh. Pickled, fried. I I must say, I only like okra when it's pickled or fried. I've never had it like it's roasted. The tex- I wonder if you could roast the okra. The texture would probably be really off. Can you roast okra? I wonder. This is so boring. Where are we? <laughs> I, I, we need to get I, on because this is actually a great here, episode. Here's why I don't think you can roast okra. I think the fried okra gives it the crunchy texture that kind of combats the sliminess, the sliminess of, it. of it. I love okra. Love it. Yeah, it has to be fried for me. And I eat and almost every other vegetable. I, I, can, I can eat it fresh, but I can only eat okra if it's pickled or fried. Again, no one, no one asked. Gives, no, no one, one cared. gives a shit. <laughs> But I do have a strong opinion about it. Shocker. Um, let's uh, talk about this episode. Y'all, this do we, episode. Do we have any announcements? Real quick. 90 Day Foodie Calls dropping season three. Be sure to be on the lookout for that. If you're not following us on our Instagram, yep. you should. Reality Gaze Podcast. That's where you can see it. Um, we've mentioned a uh, new season of Lalu on the $8 tier for Reality Gaze Extra. It's a great it's season. Fantastic. It's fantastic. Our charity in the Sissy Squad this month, because it's July, um, is the Fisher House Foundation that provides housing and aid to military families who are either having medical issues and where they need to stay near the hospital of yes. a loved one, mm-hmm. and also reuniting uh, family members with injured loved ones. You can donate well. money. You can also donate airline points and things yes, like that. Yes, you can do that. So uh, if you're in the Facebook group, there, there's an announcement you can click on. Or if not, just go to uh, Google yeah. Fisher House it, and go to the website. If because and, of COVID, yeah. you've got miles that are going to expire. Yeah. That's a great idea. If you're like... Right. I'm not going to be able to use these pretty for the they're a lot always of people did that. A lot of Fisher, people did that with Brave Trails yeah, to bring Fisher kids Fisher Foundation Very helpful. donate your miles. Very helpful thing to do for yeah. people. Um and let's see. We talked about Foodie Call, we talked about Below Deck Med, y'all. The way it's dropping now. It started with a bang. Started with a bang. So that episode always airs now on Tuesday night. So you're getting an edible day. steak, terribly cooked lobster tails, which is a crime. And and Dushka. And Dushka. <laughs> Just so I you remember. Dushka. I do. Episode, so 90 Day Fiance, from now on the schedule is you're getting it on Sunday night, Monday night, and then Below and Deck. Below Deck Med. You're getting a triple play. <laughs> you are. And I've had a triple play run on me oh, before. Oh, boy. It's been a long time. I've been in a long-term relationship, <laughs> I, but I do enjoy it. I will it. say, no, it's too, too, for me, a triple play is too much. A double play is okay. Because that's oh, only two I was doing on triple you. play with every no a See, foursome is too much. Oh, I'm not. You know what? I'm not into a foursome because usually there's a bottom competing with me, and I'm like, give <laughs> me all that jack. Because there's always one guy showing up to the orgy who says he's a top, and then he's mm-hmm. like, just kidding, and I'm like, bitch. <laughs> then he drops on his then he drops on his back and is when I move. gave everyone the survey, you all said you were dom tops. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Sorry, if, if 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 they you took my Google survey and you <laughs> lied. If you if he shows up in a belly shirt, oh, chances boy. are chances he's gonna are, roll over. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> roll over. Oh boy. Anyway, so y'all, we've got the a lot baby of, tea. Now these ninety day diaries we are doing kind of when we can, right? They're slot fillers this week, yeah, because there's we no we did not have Beyonce. a happily ever after. I don't think, but we're not going to have a break from 90 Day Fiance again for a while. For a while. And we'll we'll just see what we can get in. We're trying it, to get them done. We've got Too Hot to Handle, which is going good. We're trying to see when we have time to get things in and if we get excited about an episode. Exactly. Yeah. So, anyway. So, let's talk about when I'm back on my feet again. What song is that? Remember, that's a Michael Bolton song. I, what's you the name of the song? Back on my feet again. <laughs> I don't know it. Y'all come at me if Michael Bolton was your jam. God, I loved him. Uh, Did you ever like him? Uh, I think I'm ambivalent about him. Love is a powerful thing. I remember listening, but 
I think yeah, he's hot though. You know who likes Michael Bolton, especially when his with his short hair. Carl, <laughs> Carl she does. talking about my favorite, my Michael, my number two that I can do it with. Carl, she loves uh, Michael Bolton. He's king of yacht rock. He is. He yeah. is. He is hot. Especially because he was okay and then he cut his hair yeah. and you're like, I'm leaning in. I know. I'm kind of the same I'm way. I'm leaning in I- and bending over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl Sandberg, <laughs> for our newest for our newest catchphrase. <laughs> I'm leaning in and bending over. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put that on a shirt. Y'all, this is 90 Day Diary, Season 2, Episode 2, Getting Back on Your Feet. This was a great episode. Uh, yeah, we were just talking. The first episode was kind of like the dregs, and we yes. don't know why they put they losers. They put all the most boring. Well, we're, yeah, they, 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 Molly's not a loser. No. We just had already seen her, and yeah. she literally did nothing. She looked at a house. Right. Uh, y'all, this has got four superstars. Uh, of the Dying Day universe. We've got Danielle. Danielle. We've got Anna and, and Marcel. Oh, uh, bees. How happy were you to see them? I, I was, was. I was very happy to see them. Uh, quite an absurd couple uh, through their season. It's true. Of, that we, we know them from Night of Fiance season seven. <laughs> it's true. Um, we have Rebecca and Zian, which is a little too soon since we just is, saw them. But I, st- I love seeing them anytime. I love to see, I, I love it when Rebecca's chewing on that lip. And, well, this was pretty much the entire segment. And Poodle, who do we have and lastly? It, and it had all the best things younger women. Yes. <laughs> younger heights. W- heights. <laughs> things that made her feel old. <laughs> And not as young as I the I was going to say, check, 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 check all of her triggers. Yeah, it was just We're like, hitting mm, all of them. Mm, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Every time they put her in a new situation, mm-hmm. Rebecca's eyes would get big and big. her anxiety. Y'all, we had corny. 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 <laughs> uh, as, I, as I said, as I said, our my favorite unintentionally funny reality star. <sighs> She doesn't know she's funny. No. And probably her friends are always saying, Courtney, you are so funny. And she's like, really? I'm not funny. Oh, my God. She's unintentionally funny, you guys. I I decided after this, I kind of want to meet her now. I'm trying to I would think, what have 100% we said invite about her? her. <laughs> I, would, I would 100% invite her to a live show. I've... I've definitely called her dumber than a box of hair. She... You have... You know, her... Uh, uh, her boyfriend that she broke up with, the German guy. Yeah, remember when they when they did what was it, ninety day self quarantine? Quarantine, and we covered that. Yeah, and he messaged us and said, "We really enjoyed your show. We didn't really love the comments about the lazy eye or the <laughs> eye, but we loved your show. Y'all were very funny. That was fair. Y'all, you can say what you want to. I've got a lazy eye, Courtney. I can't do anything about the it. The poods don't pull punches. He doesn't." <laughs> He doesn't. So I, I'm, I'm right there with I, you, Courtney. I don't think she had a she. I think I think I called her ceiling eyes because they're always kind of looking up ceiling. to the eye. I up, actually up think there. She, this is the best she looks. I, I agree. She looked really great this episode. Her makeup always looked it's really good. It's a little good. calmed. The makeup. I think this is the best she. Her looks. season. It was a little extreme. Yeah, it was a little extreme. I think it's. Um, she's well. She's thirty now. She's. She's so old in her mind. As she says, I'm 30 now. I need to get married and have children. I'm withering up. Girl, you're just starting. I agree. Someone I just someone... started to learn how to ride dick when I was in my 30s. I agree. It oh, only gets better. It only gets better. If you're single in your 30s, you've been given a gift. And then you, you turn 40 and you're like, why do I have lower back pain? <laughs> yeah, that happens. Speaking of lower back pain. <laughs> Let's talk about the yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I I wanna go get fake eyelashes. I'll get eyelashes because if uh if uh if you maybe can see my eyelashes through my glasses, you won't notice that uh my eye won't focus. Uh, so she's giggling as normal. I must say, I'm proud of her. We've I just am too. we've just finished. Uh, there is I we I think I mentioned this a couple of shows ago. When we do a live show, part of me wants to do a debate. Who was the real villain in the season with Muhammad and I Danielle. think we'll have people throwing drinks I, at one another. I agree. People get heated. I can now see it from both sides. I can too. 
I, the unfortunate thing is she came off so well on The Single Life. She did, and that was kind of really the first thing we had of her. But now that we've watched... We all we just finished season or season one of Happily Ever After, and we just on the Patreon we just watched the the big the, tell the best all. tell all we've ever yeah. seen the big tell all the you smell down there. Tell Whether all. you listen to us or watch us on the watch along, which I, I would love it if you would, but if not, just still watch just that watch scene. Happily Ever After yes, season watch one. Watch that season one. So uh, anyway, so I we we know there are like so heated now we feelings both, yes and I, someone someone said this i think it was in our sissy squad our facebook group uh that whenever muhammad and danielle are in a room danielle is blocking the door with no. her body almost. she does do that yeah and it's almost like it feels like kidnapping I, a little i feel like we're both still more team danielle i little. am but but i completely <clears throat> get it but i'm but because just because Muhammad's such a oh, gross, he's so awful, gross con artist. But she conned him too. Yeah, but they've made peace with that. But we are going to talk just about friends that now. <laughs> now they just now they just text about insignificant things like like uh, Muhammad. Hey, mm-hmm. Did you know that stamps are increased by the price of two cents since like when the last time it went up? 2018. Cut to three days later. Muhammad, I just found out they have forever stamps. <laughs> so you buy them now, you does, can save Does money. that mean in 200 years, I don't uh, have to pay? Wait, I won't be alive. Muhammad, can I borrow $100 to buy stamps? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if she can. I don't know if she borrows money from him. Ma- the Muhammad. But he would ask her. He would. She would ask his opinion on everything. Muhammad, uh, I don't have a Venmo. How do I do this? <laughs> Did you just, uh, if you put a dollar uh, in your phone, will it go to mine? She Does that know. recipe of crock pot macaroni and <laughs> cheese work? Can you just put the cheese in there and it's fine? Muhammad, are the great value cornflakes as good as the frosted <laughs> ones with the tiger on them? Uh, anyway, poor Mohammed's yeah. getting these texts. So Danielle, she's getting. Uh, I'm great. I'm proud of Danielle. Yeah, and I know you've called them witches who are going to take Danielle's soul from her. They're the three. I still sisters. think they were sent by Stella Reese. She's no. talking about her friends, Lexi, Lauren, and what's the last one's name? Michelle. No, Michelle. There are there are no three women. It's Lexi, Lauren, and Michelle. Lexi, Lauren, well. <laughs> I met she them right never, after I left the kids is dead. She never says them apart from Lexi, Laura, Lux, Michelle. Laura, Michelle. And y'all remember, they need to, they are 1,100-year-old witches <laughs> who are trying to resurrect their their cult leader, Adrian LeVay, or whatever. And they need to, at the second she... Th- that an idiot has sex again after a long, long run. Long bout. They cut off her head, and then all of a sudden, their leader comes back. That's what Putin... So that's I, what they're waiting for. I still think they're angels sent by Della Reese. No, they need her head. Regardless of what... <laughs> There's you know, no other a, explanation. That's another hot debate <laughs> that we could have at our show. <laughs> so whatever side you're on... Murder cult. M- or angels. I'm, I'm murder cult. These women, they have held Danielle... Kind of recognize that she needs to take they care have. of herself. She needs to be happy. It's and they're a, saying she needs to she needs to put herself first. Self care self care is the best care. I just thought of that. <laughs> just thought of that. And so wait, did I think of live, laugh, love? Or did someone else someone come up else. with that? That might have been Lexi. So y'all <laughs> she's gonna go see Lexi's new baby actually. Hi uh I like that name. I do too. Kudos to Lexi, y'all, because Lexi just had a baby, and she fucking was able to beat her face and put on... I know. I noticed that, too. Huge long eyelashes. <laughs> well, she knew cameras would be there, or uh, uh, Danielle's cameras, somehow. She knew the cameras would be there. So she goes to see the... She brings in She brings in a casserole. And to, this what do you think she made her? Oh, God. What do you think she made her? Um, a... What are they... It definitely had canned biscuits on top. Oh yes. Um, or it may it may it looked like I think she was visiting 
Maryland. So it may have been something she bought from oh, like okay. Publix or something. What kind of casserole though do you think Danielle would make you with she biscuits? She makes chicken Campbell's chicken soup mm-hmm. and she puts biscuits on top of it. I'd see that. And I biscuits. Bet, I can see man. her putting like crumbled Fritos for crunch. <laughs> it add just, in. It, yeah, add it in there. Uh, and a can of peas for vegetables. And a lot of Velveeta. <laughs> a lot of Velveeta makes the creamy. Um, so... Yes, she, this dog almost attacks her. And she goes, <laughs> oh, oh. The dog's like trying to... People's dogs... Y'all, people's dogs need to hold the fuck back. I do. We had that poodle in episode one. The shaman's yeah. poodle almost attack Molly. People... I will say, my mother's dog is not well behaved, but my mother screams at her dog, and the dog does stop. Muffin, muffin, God, you stop, No, muffin. it's not even that. It's like, ah! <laughs> It's like this unearthly bellow. Wow. My mom goes, <laughs> like no one's ever said the word muffin like that. No one such has. Anger. No one. <laughs> I still don't know why she named her dog Muffin. I don't either. The dog doesn't look like a muffin. Well, my my and she doesn't act, the dog does not act like a muffin. My father called my aunt, Aunt Jane, when they were growing up, Muffin. Oh and my I, God! I think it has something your to do with that. Got this dog when she was pissed at your aunt Jane, possibly, and she named the dog Muffin. <laughs> Yo, it's but, like my ex boyfriend. He broke up with our friend in college, who was because he, who was his girlfriend named Sarah. They broke up. He came out of the closet. We started dating. It was a guy I just was talking about, the email. Yeah. We started dating, and then he got a dog and named the dog Sarah. <laughs> and I said, that's some bullshit. It's I think also he got rid of that dog because he didn't train it because he got on drugs. That you were friends with all of them, and you just kind of in the merry-go-round of dating. Yeah. It just kind of spun around. Well, like, really, Sarah, you were wanted, there. Sarah really wanted to marry me, but then I came out first. She always thought we would be together. Yeah, I have a feeling that was a little misguided. No, we're still good for Yeah, well, you know, we're still good friends. Yeah. Yeah, boy. She seems so intelligent, too. She is, too. <laughs> Got a master. She's in the Marines. I know. Thank you for her service. I'm just, yeah. I'm just thinking. She's moved on. She wised up. She was from, <laughs> y'all, here it is. You get, like, with music majors. It's you, hard, because you get with your gay she's friends. she's from, like, little small town in yeah. Texas. You get these women that are from small, small towns where there's not a gay in the village. And, and also, they meet this guy, and they're like, he's nice. And he understands me. He understands me. And he listens me. to me. And he doesn't want to touch my body. They don't have a Baptist church that they go to with a gay. They're like the one Baptist church without a gay choir director. Yeah. They might have a woman. I understand. Ruth, I understand why straight. Who really straight is men, good friends with the woman Beth, who cleans the <laughs> rectory. I understand why that why women kind of attach themselves to gay men and kind of have romantic feelings. And if you don't know, it's, but yeah. no, it's it's more even more than that. It's like the first man. It's just like they grow up without men who who listen to them. Yeah. Or don't have immediate designs on yeah. them sexually. Mm-hmm. And it's nice to be validated as a person mm-hmm. instead of what your sexual worth she is. No, she learned real quick. She didn't date any yeah. more gay guys after that. Good for good for her. Yeah, good for her. Um, so I so. get it. I get it. I'm just talking about specifically you. Yeah. Because you're a lisping, yeah. prancing, yeah. mincing yeah. fairy. Oh, <laughs> yes. I broke some hearts, though. I broke some ladies' hearts. <laughs> Ladies' hearts. I know. I mean, I you know. had a girlfriend too. I'm shocked. I, I, Still shocked. I I just think, did she grow up in a silo? <laughs> like, did she just wasn't around people? Nell. <laughs> yeah, it was just I Nell. Miss Nell. Yeah. Gay in Ta- the wind. <laughs> Gay um, in the wind. So, y'all. She is, uh, she's talking to Lexi. They're asking about Robert. Now, we've heard, we, if you watch The Single Life, we saw her date Robert. And we also saw on The Single Life reunion, or tell-all, that Robert had some medical issues, but now he still wants to date. Mm-hmm. I think this was filmed in between the tell-all. And... I don't know when it's, but we call bullshit then. Yeah. So, Robert and Danielle are done, you guys. They think. It's been four months. We find out later. Yeah. It's been four months, and he's always got an excuse. So, 
Um, uh, but she, Benny and Yell says, no, we haven't had no date since the last one. No date since the last one. Boy. Now, but she does says, I talk to Mo Hobbit more than I do Robert. <laughs> oh. And here's something that kind of worries me. Because she says that she and Muhammad talk like five times a week. And I wrote, Especially after seeing about this, what, but especially after seeing this season of Happily Ever After, yeah, where she just chased him and kept thinking that he's going to come back to me. I went, no, does Dan? I think Daniel says she's over it, but I bet a part of her thinks Mohammed might come back to her. I don't that, know. I worry about it. I think I think Mohammed is not happy alone. He needs someone to make him feel important, important. always. Mm-hmm. He needs attention. And he's a sociopath. He's yeah. a narcissist. And so even contact when he's at his lowest, even contact with Danielle, because he knows it can be somehow complete something in him yeah. of either talking down to someone or give him a little bit of transactional uh, attention yeah. is good enough for him. because. But the thing about him, you guys, it doesn't – for him it doesn't matter if, if the other person gets anything out of it. For him it's just the appearance of, I'm going to talk to my friend. See, I'm not a piece of shit. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. He's awful. He's awful. He's a user. He's like a shell of a person. Yeah, he is. There's a – it was interesting too on the finale or on the tell all. We've never P- Poodle says, and I agree that I don't. I think Mohammed is like asexual. Definitely, he's kind of like talented Mister Ripley. He's going to use whoever, but he less wants. hot and less clever. Yes, and he's going to use though whoever he wants to get what he wants. Right. But when they did, when Sean Robinson asked. Um, and I liked her on this tell all. She kind of went in. Uh, but when she asked, a lot of people have thought that maybe you were gay. He reacted. He got. He reacted very yeah. defensively. And but it's probably a religious thing. Also, he likes to talk about religious things when they're convenient for him, and then when they're not, it doesn't he matter. Says, they I had sex nev- before marriage. I would never have sex with Louisa. I'm not that type of person. But he had sex with Danielle before marriage. Right. Uh, it's and and. and even in Tunisia, when they weren't, yeah. when they weren't even engaged, yeah, it's yeah, ugh. ugh. So anyway, but Danielle said that she's been taking his time to heal, but she tells, like she said, I think my biggest insecurity is my weight. That's something that hinders me, and I actually think that I think what the three witches slash angels, angel witches, <laughs> have given Danielle is they have given her a little bit more of self awareness. I for agree. Her to think about. Well, what does hinder me from dating? But it also makes her more likely to have sex. So it's much likely to cut off her head. Yes, this is true. And so she says, I've been looking at exercises. Pole dancing classes. And I looked at a a beach body, but I thought, well, I don't (laughs) live by a beach. So I can't do that one. And then I looked at Nordic track, and I thought, well, I don't live in the cold, so I can't do that, really. That's more in the Arctic. And then uh, I... Th- I don't speak Norwegian. No, and then I started looking at roller skating, but you know about my balance, so I can't really do that. I got so vertigo. got the vertigo. <laughs> so then, and then, you know, and I thought about just uh, walking, but... Uh, uh, I get scared of those stray dogs and in Sandusky. Is it crazy uh, pole uh, dancing? Have you ever heard of pole, pole dancing? dancing? It's this new thing I heard about. You heard about it, Lexi? Brand new thing. Brand. Um, so she's going pole dancing, and with that's Michelle. With Michelle, the next day, we meet Kel, Kel, Kelly. That sounds right, Kel. Yeah, but sh- I'm so glad the instructor is not a tiny, it's a tiny full figured woman. woman. She's got curves. Oh. I love I loved this, this woman. Bit. I loved yeah. her. I decided when we go on the Impoli- Ohio Apology Are we Tour, taking a stripper? I want to take a pole dancing class, class from her. I think we'll they were, film I think it. they were in Maryland because I think oh. she was seeing. Yeah, we're not going to Maryland. No, sorry, Jack. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, we and all to, of our Maryland. I would go sissies. to Baltimore. Yeah. I would go to Baltimore just so I could sing. It's like, good morning, Baltimore. And someone would say, shut up, faggot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've heard that one before. Yeah, we get it. 
So they're pole dancing. The instructor is, do- and she's doing. It is a little laughable. At one point, she's just kind of like humping the yeah. pole. <laughs> Danielle is not. She's ain't coordinated. She's not coordinated. Now, I'm not either. When um, we would look like, yeah. we would look like four. Fucking horses trying to yeah. trot around. I stay in my lane, y'all. And we we, we are not dancers. We're either. not. Now we we do in our in our show Cabaret. We always do one dance number, but it's known as we do a dance number, and the bit is y'all. We can't. We dance. can't dance. That's the funny part of it. And when we do other choreo, and Poodle has a look on his face the whole time. Kind of Abject like Abject fear kind of, <laughs> Yeah it's like Kind of the same look As like a guy Who Feels like he has to come And you already came <laughs> Ten minutes ago And he's just kind of like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna get That's Poodle when he dances My eyes are saucers but Yes they're just kind of fixated If you're looking for Dancing On our Tour it, you, You're you gonna Be hoping for that A long but time If you're a pole dancer though Let us know If we're coming in A city yeah. near you Because a dance uh, A dance routine Involves a lot of practice Lot of practice uh, Which but we're not gonna have But she's doing She's not really great At the body wave Yeah But she's trying <laughs> But she was, she's able she, to swing she around She made her pirouette I, I wrote Daniel Kind of pirouetted And I yeah. was impressed And I think I think pole dancing Is hard Oh yeah, Nicole. Speaking of Ninety Day Fiance, Nicole Byer of Ninety Day Bay, she pole dances. Have you seen her pole dance? Yes, videos? she's very good. She's very good, and it's like she's fucking lifting herself up in the air. And go, I'm sure I bet, it's a workout. I can't wait to actually. Did they cover? I listened to them, but it's been a while. I don't know if her and um, Molly covered Marcy. Marcy, I'm sorry, Marcy covered. Oh, I hope they covered. They're this doing episode. Ninety Day Diaries. They, oh, okay. They do a little bit of everything. Then I'm gonna have to listen to that episode. I missed it. I didn't get they. I do. I do know they're covering it. Yeah. Um. So they are. Uh, they're they're finished with the pole dancing, and she says, "I'm feeling accomplished and sexy." And y'all, she's Danielle's gonna get her hot girl summer. Good for her. Good for Good her. Good for her. And they're at the dinner with the trio of ladies, mm-hmm. um, and she's showing off her eyelashes. Lauren and Michelle. And they're he's they're having dinner, and so I look. I, I'm calling it now. Mark my words. In a year, Danielle is going to have dyed black hair, just like the rest <laughs> of the, y'all. They all so a coven. I guess that's a thing. Is it a Kardashian thing? Why women yeah. dye their hair yeah. dark? It looks good on some women, but on a lot of women, it makes them look way harsher yeah, than it's they severe. are. It. I don't care for it. But I'm telling you, Danielle's going to have bangs and dye and very long dark hair with extensions. Especially when they – I think it looked good on Rebecca. We're going to talk about Rebecca here. It did look good on Rebecca. it was still a little severe. Looks good on Melanie from Melanie Navarre with her hair darker. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Oh, no. Well, her hair is brown. Yeah. Um, not, not black not dyed black Because most people Don't have black hair so No Dyed black hair It just looks so harsh And it's a lot of upkeep Oh um, I remember I remember Shelly Shelly uh, Shelly Denham In middle school She had Ginger red head Strawberry blonde She Dyed her hair She said I'm gonna dye my hair black And you know how When you're at that age You feel like Once you color your hair It's gonna change Everything about your appearance And people are gonna Like Poodle Or Jake Who are you With this beautiful Blonde hair And you think You're gonna Remember when you thought You'd put highlights In your hair And some part of you Thought you would end up Looking like Jared Leto a little. That, there was that like is that kind thing. of fantasy of your yeah. younger. And if you're listening, if you were a gay man and you didn't have frosted tips, you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. Because you did or you wanted to. Yeah. And so. Or the, the last two years, if you were a gay man and didn't bleach their yeah. hair, like every gay man Every did. gay man. So <laughs> she dyed her hair black and she didn't look like this. this she didn't look like Wonder Woman. She looked terrible, and she tried to wash it out, and then her hair turned green. <gasps> Yikes. And it was green for a month, and it just had to grow out. Because Connie over at – Cotton Ma- Curl? At, uh, was it Maintainers? <laughs> she couldn't – Maintainers? Ma- no, what was the name of her place? Con- I just found out – I just found out last week. I saw her daughter at my brother's barbecue. Connie died. 
That is part of the cycle of life. Yeah, she died. <laughs> what was Connie King's cutting place called? Who cares? Honestly, I feel like it was no maybe, one gives a shit. Maybe it was maintainers. <laughs> that was like it. Main, like, like horse, ma- like maintain, but it was spelled M A N E. That's main, kind of clever. Maintainers. I think you think it's more funny than I. She do. was at the place in Ardmore called the Main Event. M A N E. How many salons <laughs> are there? There's a lot. There's we need a lot. to move on. Uh, cut so, and corner. Did you notice how did you, corners are cut? No, stop, stop, oh, stop. Cut and curl. Um, did you notice how aggressive? Rock and roll and cut. That one's she's a biker chick. I should. Move Thank on. you. Do you okay. notice how aggressive the flowers are at this table? No, I did not notice. Oh, there's so many. Like the every, the, I guarantee you, they were trying to move them out of the shot. There was so much going on on this table. This was also during COVID, so they had to have their own private room. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they were talking about the date she had. We did not see her date with Avon, the black guy. I need to kind of see. It was this on Single Life season one? No, I no, don't no, think I, they showed it. Um. Or did, maybe they should, maybe oh you know maybe what? it was on Ninety Day, Day Diary season, season one because Danielle was on that yeah boy they're good they're trying to make me go back and watch y'all it looked like he was and he was like into her you some kind of Santa Claus she's like <laughs> <laughs> and then they I don't we, get it. we did see Jason who was just quiet he was quiet very uncomfortable uh, but it is the new and improved Danielle and she's gonna have her hot girl summer. Yay. Yay. And she says, um, she said, what did she say at the end? She said, um, she's like, I'm going to get my time. So let's move on to another fan favorite, kind of, uh, Anna and Marcel. But first, we're going to take a quick radio break. Bees! Bees? Bees? <laughs> Uh, what's, oh. what's the other things? Um, it's been. It feels like. I guess we. It feels like eleven years before we talked about these people. Weren't Anna, Merce, Anna and Marcel were the? They were the first season we covered. Yes, ninety, of 90 day. day. The because they were before the ninety day season. No season. Uh, OG ninety day fiance season seven. Oh yeah, they are. Wow. I think they were the. No, they were the. I think we did we start with before the 90 days we did we did start so maybe they were our first 90 day fiance yeah whatever um, someone's gonna tell us yeah y'all bees? i missed these two pork these two <laughs> as i like to say i forgot oh yes they're both in their 40s but they're both emotionally 14 <laughs> i forgot how completely useless Marcel is. Useless. Although he is, she says he is a carpenter. Yeah, and he th- th- that was pretty what he did. And I, but I need to say, there's, he has a lot of wants for someone who's useless. I mean. And I'm, I'm glad they're happy together. I'm glad Anna has found someone to complete her. I am. I'm sad her oldest I'm sad son was Marcel. in it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sad our oldest son wasn't in this. Because yeah, we, we, he was got, just, we got the middle one and the little one. They said he was at one. work. Uh, he doesn't want to be in this no. anymore. But God, he was shady. He's somewhere listening to Insane Clown Posse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, y'all, because he listens to Screamo music. He does. One. He does. I'm Probably sure somewhere does. starting fires. <laughs> Probably. Um, now, Anna did say, you know, y'all, in their season, Marcel told his family that she had kids and they were not happy but she says their family his family has come around now i remember that moment when the either the sister or the mother was talking and the voice was disguised obviously but they're like no anna has three children and the 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 voice is screw it come home screw it yes come home (laughs) i love the image of a very devout muslim woman saying screw it come Come home home. probably what happened (laughs) though now is they realize by anna marrying marcel he won't come back home and mooch off with yeah, his parents. Yeah, we, we kind of thought, the the theory was that Marcel was the village idiot of yeah. whatever Yeah, and they were just like, there from. goes Marcel. So now Marcel says sometimes, y'all, they're, so they, they sent us, did, uh, Sissy sent us their honey. Their honey is delicious. Did you hear him say that uh, 
Marcel was 40. Yes. That's, it's a hard 40. He, y'all, Marcel <laughs> is younger than Poodle. Because he was 30, he was 30. <laughs> and I look, you, and say it, I look younger than he No, does. I'm saying you're over 40. I, I, I'm so a year behind you. him. Huh? What? I don't remember that. 18 months younger than Not me. familiar. Not familiar. Yep. But I'd like to say, not to toot her own horn, I do think we both look a little younger than Marcel. Yeah. I don't know if I buy 40. And this is even me, who I've been too inundated with my father. I haven't even got my Botox yeah. touched up in a year. So this is my real face. Yeah. Not happy about it. And it's, uh, and you know, so Marcel is a hard 40. Um, I still say, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how much I believe that. It. So, so Marcel, he really wants to have a, a baby. Yeah. That's kind of his thing. And so. Well, he wants Anna to have a baby. He doesn't yes. want a baby. Yes, but they want to have a baby. So they decide we should tell the kids that, we're, that we want to have a baby. Again, the oldest one's I'm not I'm sure there. they'll be happy. The oldest one's done. He graduated high school, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's working. So he's yeah. like out and about. And so they've got Gino. Well, there's which one's the oldest one? Gino is the, Gino. Uh, Gino is the middle one. Mid- no, Leo. sorry. Uh, Yo, yeah, Gino, you're right. Gino, Gino is the middle Leo. one. And then Leo is the, which, is the youngest one. Gino is totally, he looks completely different. He's much older. He has grown yeah. up. So Kids grow fast. Oh, golly, they do. And so she says, she says, well, Marcel and I are going to have a baby. And you see Gino kind of go, oh, oh. <sighs> I guess this is real now. He's like, Mom, I think I'm against this. He does say, and, uh, and, and Marcel says, I can't wait to raise the baby. He will be, he will go, he already says he. Yes, he does. And the baby will become a Turk. The baby will be a Turk. We'll go back and forth, and the baby will learn about Turkish culture. Uh, and Anna says that because she had been bleeding before, she had a procedure. She doesn't bleed anymore, but she cannot carry. Her uterus is not capable of not carrying a child. Back. So they're going to do IVF and have a surrogate for with, with egg extraction. Leo's kind of happy. Sweet little Leo, y'all. Oh. He just wants to make his mama happy. He does. That's all he wants is mama's love. Gino actually calls it, so wait, is this going to be a fake baby? Yeah. <laughs> And Marcel's like, no, 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 real baby, no fake baby, no real baby. <laughs> Anna, are we having fake baby? And so, no, they're gonna have a real baby. And so, I like. I think did did Gina say Marcel's gonna want to name it something weird? Yeah, Gina, and- can you name it, Mom? <laughs> and she's like, Yeah, I'll name it. Yeah, I'm gonna name the baby. Don't worry. And, G- and Leo wants a sister because <laughs> they all, even the boys know y'all. They know Marcel's gonna fuck it up. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine God, him as a father? Kid. No, no, no. Yeah. Now, a village is here, missing its idiot he's in He's lived Turkey. here quite a bit. His, I'm surprised his English. I thought it was much. Remember when I he guess first was, came? That's true. He knew nothing. He knew like one single word. That's true. Fuck. And English is a difficult language. It is. It is. However, it seemed that... Uh, Anna knew more Turkish it seems than like Marcel Anna has picked knew up some Turkish. English. <laughs> Anna's not dumb. No. She makes dumb choices sometimes. Yeah. She makes Tiffany-style bad yeah, choices. Yeah, but she's a smart person. <laughs> In fact, Marcel even says she's controlling because basically she, she treats him sometimes like a child because he's a big fucking kid. He is a big fucking kid. And she has kid. to say, Marcel, don't touch fire. Anna! <laughs> Marcel, don't touch fire. And they work together at the, the what is the, 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 something in the bee, the lady in the bee? The beauty, the beauty in the bee. Beauty in the bee. Beauty in the bee. And that honey, y'all, is good. It's really you, fucking they, good. They're not, they're not paying us to do this, I promise. But uh, I thought, oh, someone, honey's honey. Someone gave us some of their 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 cinnamon honey. Their cinnamon it's like delicious. whipped honey. Yeah, holy shit! So you it's get it's, a it's good. You get products. a hot biscuit. You put some butter on that with a little Boy. bit of that. Woo! Sounds like sounds like someone's been at it. Woo! It's good. <laughs> Um. So I was going to suggest putting it on fruit, but that's yeah that works too. Yeah, because you put it on fruit. I do. You didn't put it on a biscuit? I never put it on a biscuit. You never put it on anything, bread or bakery? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. We'll it's, see. It's still there in my refrigerator. Is it? Yeah. So, so how wonderful are you? <laughs> I just was Aren't gonna, you special? I was just going to say it's delicious with a little bit of on berries. Their cinnamon honey. 
You know what? Why don't you put it on my dick and suck it? Oh, gross. It would take more than honey. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it would take more than even cocaine. It would, yeah. Uh, woo. Back in my 20s. Woo. Uh, so, they. did you notice <laughs> Marcel had on a t-shirt that said, Beekeeper equals farmer, farmer plus crazy. I agreed with that. I agree with it, too. I agree with that. For anyway, myself. so they're going to do the egg retrieval, and and then all of a sudden they find out they have to be there. They're, she's she's taking her injections. And, y'all, I'll tell you why Marcel is probably going to have problems being a father. He can't even give Anna the injections. He can't. He's, he's like, no, no, no. Yeah. But Marcel is, which means he's not going to be able to change diapers. Yeah, just anything say, he like is that. Never going to be able to change. It. The kid throws up. He's not going to yeah. be able to deal with it. He can't. If you can't give her an injection, um, right? Sorry, I just I I got KDD distracted because you know I read these notes on my iPad, and every once in a while I get like a I thought a news alert, and this news alert said a study showed that people that eat a diet of Southern food are at a higher risk of cardiac. Uh, problems. Shocking. And water is wet. <laughs> Who paid for that fucking study? You know, if you're going to Luby's every other day, do you think you're bacon grease is really that bad for you, Larry? Dumbasses. Sorry, that pissed me off. So they I, he, have, yeah, he's gonna not gonna be, he's not gonna be able to do no. fucking anything. They have to be there in like a day and a half, and so they, it looks like they're looking at flights, and she's like, oh, it's gonna be too expensive. So we're going to drive sixteen and a half hours to Syracuse because even going because that's cheaper than going to New York City. Because that where are they? They're outside of Chicago, Nebraska. Oh, they're Nebraska. So it would be that far when we do the Oklahoma tour. Probably just sixteen a co- and a half hours. So they, with Marcel in the car. Well, wonder what they listen to. Oh, Prairie Home Companion. <laughs> probably that helps him learn English. Yeah. <laughs> he likes it for that. Or or um, what does I, I, Joel Osteen's book? Possibly. <laughs> One I, of them. I think that also, I think that Anna definitely, um, uh, she loved Poison. She loved Def Leppard. Yeah, I can see that. I think she definitely, like, gets to her some of her roots, her 80s hair bands. Um, so I can only imagine I, I, how it would, this would be murder. This, and they finally get there. It's finally, like 17, 18 hours. Driving down the highway. Way and the girl going to egg retrieval. Don't come back unless I get eight eggs. <laughs> eight eggs. We're eating on down. Nine and oh. <laughs> That's what Marcelle. 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 That's what Marcel is eating. Gardetto snack mix. They are, and so with the rye chips that are delicious. You know what? It, <clears throat> those are delicious. People think those are the worst. What? People like those are the best parts. People, people who select the the best things of snack mix, mm-hmm. and and y'all, if you're throwing away the rye chips, I don't want to meet you. Those are the best because parts. There's something wrong with you. They're the best part. You don't like that means you don't like savory things that are oil that are like but, toasted. But you and I don't love pretzels. I'll eat pretzels. I'll eat but pretzels. Those they are, just, they're just salty those and dry are the white mouth. rice in that mix. Yeah, they just I'm not a big pretzel fan. Fuck you, non rye chip eaters. Wow. Bottom, bottom this line. This just made a stance real quick. Fuck you. So, y'all, they're they go to meet the doc. They meet Dr. Dr. Robert Clitz. <laughs> I, I did not know his name, so I'm going to trust you on it's that. Dr. One. Robert Clitz and Robert he, Clitz. Y'all this man, and I say this because I know people from my hometown, so does P- Poodle. This man's high on Jesus. <laughs> he, he does. Wa- he, he walks in. He's like, "Hello, like, God bless y'all. God bless y'all." Yep. And he's talking. Oh, he's the type of person. If you say, "Well, We're doctor, give you a beautiful baby," you know, I'm, I'm, I'm it's not, only going to take sixty five thousand yeah, dollars. I'm not long for this world, doctor. My dog died. My husband left me. My house burned down. We're going to wait for the Lord to my car. And he, this. he would be so positive and affirming. Well, that's okay. That's I okay, can't stand Janet, people like that. Because that means God's got another car for you. <laughs> Shut up. That's Dr. Robert Let me Clint. have my moment. They, 
So they talk about it, and then he, even when he leaves, he says, God bless you all. So they leave. He is high on Jesus. They do the procedure. Y'all, she gets seven eggs. <clears throat> Yeah, that, I was happy about that. Now, did, did you like it when Marcel says he seems professional? <laughs> he seems perfect. Yes, he's now. This, what was it? The doctor mask? Yeah, I think the, that's what get. Poodle, this is my question to you. Because the doctor says, "Oh, we got seven eggs," and then Marcel says, "We're going to have a beautiful baby," and I'm like, "Wait a minute, do you know how this works, Marcel? Like, it's just the eggs." Right. He acts like he was just told they were going to have a baby. Like in like 10 minutes, someone just brings gonna out bring an infant. going to bring a baby. I, I don't think he gets it. He is quite simple. Um, Boy. And, in 10, and the doctor says in 10 to 11 months, you could have your beautiful baby. I think they have to simplify this for Marcel because he can understand it I don't otherwise. think he can. Besides the language and his simplicity. Question um, then. Yes. Who's smarter? Marcel? Oh, God. Or Courtney? <laughs> Courtney? Oh, God. You know, <laughs> I got to give it to Courtney. I got to give it to Courtney, too. I do want to say, though, there were three fertilized embryos that worked. Oh, we did so find they out have now. It, uh, and so now they're in the process of choosing surrogates. So I just want y'all to think about that. Marcel had to jack off in a cup. Let that <laughs> oh, close your eyes and God. think of that. Pork! 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 pork. <laughs> Anna? Anna? <laughs> Bees? And yes, y'all, you might not be known, but let's just take a special moment and we want to just say, rest in power to Huey, Dewey, <laughs> and Louie. The moles that are now gone because Anna probably listened to Poodle. You're welcome. Going on and on about her moles. They're gone. You can write me a thank you card, maybe some honey sometime. We don't know if Garfield's still on her shoulder. We think so. Yeah. And I have a feeling he's still hungry. Just by himself. (laughs) Just by himself. Um... Anyway, in yes, memoriam. pour one out for Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Pour one out for Huey, Dewey, and Louie. That Louis. were made in a symmetrical, bi- yeah. if you bisected her face, mm-hmm. they were all in one line. They were. The, uh, the, uh, along the San Andreas mm-hmm. fault of yeah. moles. <laughs> may, may uh, what's her name's mole from? May their memory be a blessing. May, um, what's her name's, what? Caroline. Uh, Caroline's mole from, um. Uh. Me and you, you, me, me, you, my me and my ex carry on the legacy. <laughs> what do we name them? Oh, Quincy. Oh, what was Quirky? the name? I can't remember. You said something. Somebody will let us know. Uh, no, I was going to say it was Spike, but Spike was the name of the placenta. <laughs> we need to move on, <laughs> y'all. So Courtney, we, we did an interview with. Okay, that was disgusting. It was a good segue from Anna and Marcel because Courtney is driving. And she's like. Oh, oh my God! There's oh bees God. everywhere. Oh God, look at there's bees. There's bees everywhere. Revelations Revel- are taking Re- place Re- now. I'm allergic, and they are attracted to me, and they sting me. Uh, because she's allergic. Holy aller- fuck! Who is <laughs> mailing bees, y'all? <laughs> who is mailing bees? I, I guess the bee is around the post office truck. I was scream laughing <laughs> during this whole segment. <laughs> She's just, there's something about her that's just so funny to me. I love her so. So, y'all, I mean. Holy fuck. Who's sailing bees? So, y'all, she's driving in her. She really does talk like this. You know what I love about Courtney? If you look at her Instagram, it looks like she's so rich. And put together. So successful. I've seen it. Really put together. And then her life, but she makes no bones about it. On this show, she doesn't pretend. Her life pr- is a disaster. She doesn't try to pretend. No. She's so authentically her yep. that, God, I love her. She's just driving in her little Geostorm or whatever car it is. <laughs> and she goes to get out of her car and she's like scared of the bees. Oh, she's geez. screaming. And she lives in. Orlando. Orlando, the city where dreams are made, city that dreams are made of. Boom. So uh, we, they do give a little introduction of her. She, of course, she was with Antonio Corny, who was a model. And who she's like, hot. and y'all, 
didn't go good. When she went to meet him, there were some jealousy issues. Oh, yes. He went to go oh. do laundry. Oh, you guys, if you haven't seen oh, that. That's a great season. If you haven't seen that season of before, the, it's before the 90s, yeah. right? Yeah. Where she travels season. to his apartment and she's doing laundry in his apartment with no air conditioning. And she's got two backpacks. It might be the, one of the funniest things I've ever seen on television. He takes her to a beauty contest <laughs> that he's judging. She lands. She's looking. She's and she looks good, but she you know she feels disgusting. She feel, she just got off a sixteen hour fucking flight. She's he's like no, you go to a beauty. No, contest. I must judge beauty. And she's like. Okay. And gorgeous women who he's basically gorgeous flirting with. Spanish women. Yeah. This is in Spain, y'all. Yeah. Anyway, God, oh, that was a great season. That God. Courtney and her eyes just getting bigger and bigger. And then she's totally like, I'm not going to have sex with you. Cut to the next day. Antonio got it done. They banged in like his bunk bed or something. Oh, yes. Yes, um, in his little apartment the size of a shoebox. But it's European apartment. She, you know who, who he is, who she is, you guys? Her, I, her eyes remind me of Audrina's eyes from the hills. Yeah. They're just kind of always looking up like, like at the ceiling. They just, it's always like, what's <laughs> new in the world today? Yes. What's new in the world just today? Just vacant. So she gets home and her parents, I think her mom's name was Brenda. I don't know Something why like I remember that. that. Because we did a lot of. A lot of sketches of Brenda just being disappointed yeah. in her daughter. So she's still living with her parents because, as she says, lately I've been feeling very lost. And I – can I just say I related to her. It's a like, normal when thing. When I was 29, I yeah. went back to school. Like if you're not solidified when you start turning 29, 30 and what you want to do right. – which I want to tell you, if you're there right now, I promise you, y'all. I still don't know what I want to do. Yeah, if you're there, you're fine. I promise. Yeah. Courtney, if you're listening, you're if you fine. don't hate us by now, we love you. You're fine, Courtney. You are finding your beautiful, imperfect way. You know what What I want for her? I want her to have so much confidence in whatever she chooses, regardless if she thinks it's the wrong choice. To, she, to shoot, to make a choice. It's don't. What again? What other people think of you is none of your business. Right. And she is so concerned. But I was more like that too. Yeah. And then the, when you turn forty, all the fucks drop away. Unless yeah. you're poodle and mother poodles your mother, you have to learn <laughs> not to care about what your mother thinks at a very That's young true. age. That's true. That's true. That's true. Um. So she says, "I've been feeling lost." She's been with her parents for a few years, and she's like, "I want some love, but that's hard to find." We. You guys, don't forget what we saw on 90 Day Self Quarantine. Quarantine, when she with was living her, with Andy. Her dating uh, Andy, the German uh, Andy, boyfriend. Andy, the German boyfriend. German boyfriend. Uh, and uh, he was a period cop. So, y'all, she best. went to go see him, but then COVID happened and everything got shut down. And because she her, was a quasi prisoner, <laughs> because her parents were in her 70s, yeah, she, she was had to fucking stay there. stuck at his house and basically and had the a period cup guy for a month. And he made her hawk his and period cups and do commercials. And at one point, I, they we were don't know fighting. She, we don't know if she ever got paid. And someone's like, we need to go to Orlando and save Courtney. Yeah, she was just like, I don't know. Well, this wasn't in Orlando. It was like Tampa yeah. or something. And so she's like, He's like talking to her. It's like, your period's very heavy flow. Uh, very, yeah, cool. they, uh, she's like, yeah, someone, can we come and talk about this? <laughs> she's like, I don't know. She just started crying. She just, bless her heart. Love China is very heavy flow. <laughs> <laughs> now she says, but since Andy and I broke up, I'm just stuck at home. She's feeling I'm aimless. unemployed. I don't know what to do with my life. Because Florida doesn't care about COVID. <laughs> Go yeah. And she, this is scary for her because I yeah, understand. She's it's afraid like her, in Oklahoma. Oklahoma afraid her parents are going to get it. When you live with someone who's older, right. you're concerned. You yeah. don't want to go out. Because, y'all, the governor of Florida has taken one of the most devil-may-care uh, attitudes towards COVID. You know, it's them. just not one of the states with the oldest population in the yeah. country. Yeah. Glad you care about your well, constituents. He wants, he wants to be president. That's the, well, that's the issue. piece of yeah. shit. So, anyway... Uh, she, the thing is, I discovered a great way to make money. And so we think she's baking cupcakes. I'm like, oh, she's making those for her parents. She goes into the bathroom, puts a cupcake like, on the floor. And I'm like, uh oh. And she says, I'm a marketing executive, AKA I sell foot pics. And I take pictures. 
pictures of my feet. And sometimes I smash grapes. And when she squirt the avocado she on squirts, her feet, y'all, I had to pause it and leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> I was mortified. She does have cute feet, I guess, but she's a foot model. And she's like, she talks about foot it. fetish model. But she yeah. talks about it like your mom would talk about her job working for the IRS at she show and tell. She says... I love foot modeling. I don't have to get up and do my makeup. I can just put it on. I don't, I don't have to fix my hair. It doesn't even matter if I'm wearing clothes. It's just something everybody can do from your home. <laughs> it does sound like she's using it you to like, like to sell. sell Amway. Yeah, Amway. Um, she also says, this is my favorite quote. I actually have another favorite quote too. I don't understand the obsession with feet, but I love money. But I love <laughs> money. It's what I want. Same. You know what? Same, it- Courtney. I kind of came to a revelation because you know I've talked about how so many guys are always into my feet when yeah. we hook up. I need I to still be, don't buy this. I need to be a foot model. Uh, yeah, okay. I, how can I do this? Maybe it's because you're you're choosing such freaks. I'm gonna message Courtney. Can she? I, I, how do you do this? I'll do it. Uh, I think it's not. Something. I'll squirt avocados on my feet. I don't know if it's as much for men's feet as it is for women's feet. Get like feet. vanilla cake and squeeze it in my toes. That's disgusting. Or like I don't know, I, Jello. Let's get some lime green gel and just put my toes in it. I will say I will make that money. Even if you like feet, there was something about her stepping on the grapes with her feet that turned my stomach. Cut to. I'm going to start being a foot model, and in six months, I'm making $5,000 a month, and Poodle's going to say, how do I get into foot modeling? (laughs) How can I? I'll be your manager. That's it. (laughs) I'm kind of interested. What what, what do you want him to step on? I'm legitimately. What do you want him to step on? Sure, he'll do it. I could do this in Oklahoma when my dad's taking naps. Just, Put some barbecue sauce on it. Just imagine. Some baked beans. Imagine explaining that to Aunt Peggy. (laughs) Baby, you do what? So, which, by the way, y'all, we've been putting our YouTube lives on our Patreon. We're going to start the fifteen dollars tier can do the watch alongs, and we put those. We forgot to announce this actually. Oh, you're um, right, we did. For, Shit. 50, for our Patreon at the fifteen dollars tier, it's just on Patreon, not on Supercast because they don't have video. We watch do the watch alongs. Our version of Pillow Biter, Pillow talk, Biter pillow talk. talk. Well. We do a once a month YouTube live where they can interact, where our fifteen dollars tier uh, gatrons can interact with us. Well, this last questions. one we can talk about stuff. Aunt Peggy made an impromptu cameo with and just, her dog, with the dog and her lip. And people <laughs> lost their shit. Like someone screamed out, "Icon, Icon!" <laughs> and what we've decided doing, not we've said we used to do these live, but then people don't see the so. They don't see it, the people that can't come. So anybody on the $15 tier, we're posting that video now. They're all, we're going to post them. So the video the, is up with Aunt, if you want to yeah. see Aunt Peggy and hear in the flesh, there you go. She's there. She's there. It's a classic. Classic. Classless. I'm a, totally going to be a foot model now. Well, I'm here you, for it. You, but, did, but, you did hear what she said. She did say this, though. You know, your feet <laughs> might get older. So, the, the, you... So, maybe you age... I've got to do it before I age out. You I may... Mean, you may... I think it might... The, your window might be closed. She liked, but some people are into old lady feet, I guess. You can find those. But I don't care. So, she is dating a guy named Andrew. Foot fetish modeling is like the voiceover of the porn world. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you look like. That's true, it, but it, does it matter with like the voiceover world? It matters what connections you have, possibly, maybe. Um, but everyone, all actors are doing voiceover now. Like the that's that that's the thing. Yeah. Like all actor all actors because voiceover it goes to famous actors now because people may or may not resemble remember their voices. Yep. Um, so in other words, James Brolin. Is probably going to book an ad instead of you. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's really. I don't Not know. to get too inside baseball. It makes me sad a little bit. Yeah, just because. Remember those announcers who used to do every. Yeah, and also voice like the guy who did in a world, and also actually voice actors are better. Are so good, they're better at animated movies. Yeah, than fucking having Brad Pitt do a pirate instead of hearing uh, Zoe Deschanel do a cotton commercial. In like, her kind of weird little voice. Like, I don't know. I love Wanda Sykes, but I'd rather hear a voice actor. So, anyway. 
It is sad Agreed. to me. I'm a little bit like share the wealth. Come on. Y'all are already making money. Uh, they're greedy. They are. Anyway. So, so boy, anyway. That was a we, negative way to end. Yeah, I mean, so y'all, she, now she, she, she's kind of been talking to this guy, Andrew. No, she's dating him. She's dating him. We don't see him. He didn't sign the rights But way. they do talk on the phone. They've had a one-year relationship. And y'all, you My know, favorite part, though, she said, So I'm dating this guy, Andrew. His name's kind of like Andy. So I was like, ooh. I guess <laughs> I was like, ooh. <laughs> It's kind of like Andy. It's kind of like, so I was like, Ew. Yeah, I just, you know what? But I'm going to date him anyway. He's like a kisser. Anyway, she Sorry, says, this is my favorite quote of the entire episode. You know, I can see having a future with Andrew, but I can also see not. <laughs> I can see somebody else, too. See somebody else. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> I, just, I just, I love the candor. Uh, yes. You, you, what you see is what you get with her. Because you just, you, and some of us are that when we're fucking 30. But I can also see not. See not. <laughs> <laughs> you expect she's, about to, like, it almost feels like a bachelor-esque kind of thing. Yeah. That she thinks she's on The Bachelor. Yeah. I'm telling you, Matt Sharp, make fucking... A, 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 whatever you want to call she it. She needs to be on The Single Life. The, she needs to be on The Single Life. Oh but my God! I'm telling she needs you, to be on the single life. If Discovery Plus did Life with Courtney, I oh, would subscribe to that in a fucking second. Oh, I think she's a reality star in the making. Oh, for however, sure. However, she needs a good producer. You need to script situations for her to be in. Uh, it can't just be her and her parents because she's not going to create that. No. Yeah. Like honestly, I would be. I would love it if they were like. They could do different things. Like one season could be Courtney finds a job and it could be the season of her just trying all different odd jobs. <laughs> Courtney finds, then put her on the single life. Courtney finds a house and it's just her like looking at Putting houses. Up word art I could, in her we could produce house. this. Yep. Courtney, call us. We'll produce this. All you have to do is, we put, believe her, in you. is put her into situations oh. and she's going to say word salad oh, and it's going to be wonderful. Her bear's all is supposed to be good. I never watched it. Oh, it was cringe as fuck. Was she talking about the foot modeling yes. men? And Sean, what did Sean do? Sean's to like, she just kept putting the... <laughs> Sean kept putting the, the card over her face because she was mortified for Courtney. Wow. Because Courtney's like, yeah, you just make all the money you want. I like money. So she, she's basically, she says, all the guys who I date for like a year, I'm kind of like, so are you going to marry me? Because I'm thinking about their options. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> she's super, I just love how pragmatic she is to a fault. She is. And she's, she's totally in her head and at the same time, Naively, ridiculously confident. Yeah, it's just makes that's those, what it, makes her so special. <laughs> I know, I know. I can't get enough of her. I cannot get enough. So, y'all, she goes to a life coach like Poodle, a Lizeth. life coach, Lizeth, Lizeth, who I thought was a pretty good life coach. I thought she did well, a decent job. Uh, it is a normal thing to say. Tell me about as this was the first set, first session, and, and I it was on TV, and I guarantee you. Normally, you you spend most of the time listening. Yes, you spend most of the time listening because, and also, you guys, people are going to tell you exactly what they want. People are going to tell you, and it'll, you have to read the code, though. Um, and people often, like like Courtney is coming. People are coming to most of the time. They are aimless. People will tell you what they want to do. You just have to find the right way to make them think they've thought of it before and validate uh, that. Yeah. And I think that's what she's doing. I um, I like the way she's going about this. I, I tend to avoid jargon and buzzwords yeah, that a lot of people do, TV. but a lot, but she's on that. She um, she's basically saying, she's talking, they're talking about their relationship and she says, you know, she wants to know, is Andrew going to be proposing or not? And Le- Lizeth basically is like, do you know where he's at with this? When, when, and then Courtney's like, well, she's like, well, would you say this relationship is meeting your needs? Pause. Pause. No. 
No. He and says I complain too much, but it's my <laughs> favorite hobby. Because <laughs> y'all, she, don't forget, we learned that with Courtney in her season, yeah. she loves to complain, oh, y'all. Rem- oh, she complains what, all the time. That's what uh, uh, Antonio could not deal with. Oh, he could not it's deal with. It's hot in here. It's hot in Courtney, Courtney. I'm it's really fun. tired. Courtney, let me, let me sexually calm you. When are we going to get breakfast? <laughs> Courtney, you don't need breakfast. Courtney, you just need my Can you my get some cock. good lighting? I need to put on my makeup. Courtney, you don't need lighting. So beautiful. So beautiful. Kiss me. Bess me. Bess Wait, me, have Courtney. you been talking to Bess another girl? I get to go. You are at your mom's house all day. Laundry. <laughs> Laundry. Oh, God. Um. So, uh, I I understand what the coach is trying to do here. Um, it is a good question to saying, are your needs being met? And, uh, and I, I, if it's a, if it's a question of someone saying, uh, I don't know if this person's the right thing for me. And oftentimes I say, picture yourself in 15 years Mm -hmm. where do you see this person fitting into not, not just fitting onto your life, but Imagine just having, don't even put anything on it. Imagine what you're doing in 15 years is this person beside yeah, you. Yeah, and if that's too overwhelming, take it down to how far you can imagine. Yeah. If you can imagine five years, one yeah. year, six months, because some people are like, 15 years, I can't. Blah, blah. Well, she already knows. The thing about it is when someone has, when someone's worried about this, she her, knows. her weird arbitrary rules of you date me for a year and then I need to move move on. Uh-huh. That's that. That's the thing. She she read a book one time written mm-hmm. by someone like mm-hmm. Bethany Frankel, yep, uh, or Patty Stanger, mm-hmm. and they said only date for a year, uh huh, and then you need to move on. Yep, and that's what. Um, and so that's what she does, and she thinks she needs an answer, and she, mm-hmm. the rules are more important than the people, unfortunately. Yeah, I agree. With so. That. She she needs more than a than than this one and also one coaching session. <laughs> she want she does and she says um, so she d- does that session. It goes okay, and then she says, "I don't know. I need to think more." So she's driving down the road. She's driving I'm nervous. I'm worried. I'm nervous because she's holding y'all. She can't even get a suction cup to her window. <laughs> she's, she's holding, holding her phone, phone, and I am so nervous. And she's crying, and she's like, I just got out of the phone with my boyfriend. On the freeway. She's like, I was on his way to his house, and he said that he's actually playing games with his friends. And I only see him one time a week. He's not making time for me. Because Courtney does like to be treated like a princess. And she admits that. But she wanted Antonio to, like, really fucking treat her like a princess. And so she said, I only get to see my boyfriend one day a week. It makes me feel like I'm begging for the bare minimum. Um, bare minimum is what they called me in college. <laughs> there goes <Lord>, bare minimum. <laughs> but that's you know every other segment kind of ended. This Hers. one is just like she just said. The last thing she said was, "I'm tired of begging for attention." <laughs> and see, okay, Matt Sharp, we're done. That's a wrap. I know it's kind of like and we're just went, like, huh? Did she run off the road? What the hell? She okay? Yeah, it was kind of weird. I hope that means we're going to see more Courtney I hope, in this. I, I hope so. Do they show more people in 90 Day Diaries? I do not know. We don't even know how this works. I do not know. Did, maybe, did the first... Because we didn't watch the first one because it had too much of of someone that we don't talk about anymore. Ugh. And we didn't want to watch it. Barf. Yeah. There, he is in some of the extras, which we're not watching. Or covering. Or covering. Let's talk about... There's not a lot. I mean, but let's Rubica. talk about... Rubik and Ziyad. Y'all, Ziet's friends are coming over, who he met online. Yep. And y'all, I love Ziet's butt's gut. It is so he looks good. hot. He has great hair, and that looks yeah. good on him, but the butt's cut. And y'all, Rebecca's, chewing, Rebecca's nervous mm. because uh, she doesn't know these people. His friend they is, might judge. It's she's his friend is an mouth. Arabic friend and his American wife, and she's nervous because her ex before <laughs> met of friends. Course. He met friends, and then that's where he got the idea to cheat on her. And you know what? Her ex, <laughs> my ex before, my ex from Morocco also had friends. Also had friends, and then that they were bad influences. So and he met women to cheat on me through those like, friends. She's like, that'll screw you up. Screw you yeah. up. Yeah. Almost chewed off the corner of this lip. <laughs> I still love 
How will I tell Ziad that I also ate pizza with... <laughs> it was ridiculous. I know. I know. I know. I know. You think it's scripted and you're like, no, I think Rebecca gets that smush in her she, head. She really yeah, does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I love even her. Ha- we've all oh, been we love Rebecca. Rebecca. Oh, we've all we been all Rebecca. We all get it. We all get it. And it... She- she can it comes off it can come off a little controlling, but I don't no, think that's it's not really the issue. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's well, even when Rebe- Zied's friend comes up, Zied, his friend comes, who's cute, and then he is cute, and his wife or girlfriend comes up. She's worried because she's, she's gonna like be put together. <sighs> Hannah seems put together, and Zied rolls his eyes literally yep. when she says this because he's used right. to this. Also, you guys, there's furniture in this apartment. Now. Their apartment looks really cute. Yay! It looks really cute. I would live there. And she's like, is it hot in here? But just like I would say or my exactly. mother. Exactly. And Zia's my like, mother no, would say. It, she said it exactly like I don't you. think the air conditioner's working. It is, it is 75 in here. So they have coffee or they have dinner with them. They're talking yeah. about – Zia talks about how he doesn't really have places to go. Tunisian coffee places that, where they have hookah and cards. And, and Ali's like – there are places like that. I can show you those. And but Ziad sits at home and he's bored a lot. And Rebecca yeah. says later, hearing about you being bored, it makes me sad. I don't want you to be bored and lonely. I want you to be happy. So And to his defense, he says, That's not your fault. Exactly. Nor and, is it your responsibility. And I don't know if she, she, hears she didn't hear that. that. She didn't hear it. Yeah. Rebecca, it is not your responsibility and you can't take on to make his, Ziad happy. Yeah. You can't take on his, the happiness has to come from him first. Because what happens, and we're going to see this, Rebecca often plans something to make Ziad happy, and then actually, then it becomes a test of yeah. Ziad. Ma- making make, sure making Rebecca sure, to ma- check in with Taking care of that. her. Yep. Because, and I get it, because I used to be this person. Y'all, Rebecca is always giving to other people and trying to take care of other people, but she never says when you need to take care of me. Right. So she when someone to know. doesn't take care of her, she gets offended and hurt. And her thing is, well, I've done all this for you. Why aren't you doing right. all this for me? But this person didn't ask or sometimes even expect for you to do it. Right. You just did it. Right. Exactly. There you go, Rebecca. I just <laughs> solved it for you, honey. He just read you Set, for filth, honey. I've been you. Send me the check. Mm-hmm. We'll chew on that cheek together. So, uh, as Zied says, uh, I love everything danger. I, I love everything danger. <laughs> and there, he goes, they're going to go zip lining. <laughs> and, and she goes, I just realized, do we have to climb a tree She's for like, this first? Get, I don't is, like heights. Rebecca doesn't think things through <laughs> no. y'all she just goes oh this will be you know what you know what i bet it is rebecca saw a group on yeah she went oh this will be a good group on i Bye. love this he loves Play. stuff oh i love group and then the day came and she's like how can i get out of this <sighs> and she's like y'all she is chewing the fuck out of that cheek oh, on yeah. the way she's just sitting there and but Zied does say don't worry baby i'll take care of you yep Ooh, yum so so and so he does say that to her, but he really I doesn't. I kind of understand this because I I think it does sound a little. I don't like heights either. She's having to climb up this thing. She y'all zip lining. It's this isn't just you go and get on the ledge and you zip line. This is you're climbing, it's zip also, lining, climbing, zip lining. She line. says also some obstacle course elements. It's an obstacle course. <laughs> y'all, element. they're on a ropes course. They're on a ropes course. <laughs> I would not do this. This no, is very no, intense. No. And they did, it, y'all, this got so bad that Rebecca, they didn't even film it. We just have I, a screen of, Rebecca got really anxious. I wonder, I wonder if it's a different waiver for 90 Day Diaries because it's not really production. No, they're filming it with right. their fucking phones. So she probably would not allow them to she, use the footage. Or I bet she didn't film it because she was too she fucking it off. scared. She had yeah. to hold on with both hands. She's like, I'm not holding a camera and doing right. this. So so th- they didn't even finish it, I no. don't think. No, they didn't because they had a, they had a fight because he she did not – Want his he, he, she she was very nervous and he did not notice and she said on the way home and the, she's like you're not paying attention that I was scared and that scared me that scared me so scared me. the next day they're they're driving around long and she's still talking about the fight she's like we need to talk about that and, and she's still chewing on her lip 
And the edge is kind of like, okay. But you are my best friend. But you are my best, best, best friend. Best friend. And they, then they say best friend, and it's all cute. And y'all, here's the thing. There's no drama with them. They're fine. They're fine. They're in a great relationship. They're in a great relationship. I'm proud for them. They have great sex. Yep. They have, I think, pretty good communication. Yep. They both have fun together. And he's the antidote for Rebecca's debilitating anxiety. Exactly. And she is the kind of kick in the ass he needs to right. know. Because I, I know he got his degree in error or in like HV, HVAC. Yeah. So I think he's working. He now? should be working I soon. I think he is. So, because I, I think he's he should be getting his green card soon. He should be. Yep. That's y'all, the show. That's the show. Ninety that's Day Diaries, y'all. Ep two of ep season two. two. Season three is dropped, and season three episode is three. Uh, episode three. Yes, I'm sorry. Is a uh, Lauren and Alexi. Who Amira, else? Amira's in and season a new three. boyfriend and a new boyfriend. I haven't seen anyone else. I need to fast forward to a season see. four. Just dropped uh, episode. Ep <laughs> God bless me in the face. Episode four, and that is y'all Stephanie of YouTube fame. Who's she's decided she's not approved anymore. Celibate anymore. Oh, she's getting that pee and riding that I, pee I, to I Puss kind of, Town. I guarantee you <laughs> to Puss Town. <laughs> to Puss Town, yeah. Wow. You're welcome. You're welcome, lesbian. Um I think she's probably gonna be on single life next yeah. season. I, I wish this feeling. I wish it was um not Stephanie, but I Erica. wish it was Erica. Um, hopefully it's not he ho, who shall be named. We're not going to talk about him, though. So, if he's on. Hopefully they took him off. Um, Been a lot of outcry about it. So. A lot of people aren't happy with Amira's boyfriend, either. Apparently. He, uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, right. I remember about that. Didn't he post something that. really racist or something like that? Uh, blackface. Yeah. It's not good. Yep. I don't know if this is the current that that one, but we don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So, but y'all, we're gonna cover. We'll get these out to you as soon as we possibly can. But too hot to handle. Just drop the rest of their episodes, yes. and we've got to we want to wrap that up because we've got we've got other Netflix shows coming in the queue and oh, some other no. stuff. We might some, even have some experiments in some kind of fucked up lab. Yeah, we've got Looks shit like we it. haven't announced yet, but we've got we've got. I think there's also gonna be... a show on HBO Max that you'll be seeing. You can't keep anything secret. <laughs> I think you're going to be very excited with what you have. And, and, and I'm not sleeping. And we're not. Someone said, I posted that we're doing 90 Daddies, and they said, the mother in me is worried about both of you, and I wonder if you're getting rest. The answer to that no. is no. No, we're not. No. We're not. No. But, you know, as we've said before, this is when we feel our best. Yeah. When all this cuckoo craziness is when we get to sit down with y'all and laugh about these ridiculous lonely hearts. I would have enjoyed eating hot dogs today. Yeah, that would have been good too. And bacon. Yeah. Mm. We gotta go. Who do we call these people lonely hearts? Because aren't we all just lonely hearts looking for love in all the wrong places? Yeah. And oh my god, what is so Call us. 